The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Now start to take a look at Convex mirrors. Let's begin with figure 33 and 34. As we saw earlier, convex mirrors are known as diverging mirrors. A convex mirror reflects on the outside of its spherical curvature, and the parallel rays which reflect from the surface will diverge. Therefore, only virtual images can be formed, meaning real images are impossible. Now, if we take a look here at figure 35a, as you would expect, the convex mirror forms a virtual image on the opposite side of the mirror. Moving on for image formation, convex mirrors follow the same rules that we introduced for concave mirrors in figure 21 a few slides back. However, the focal point for a convex mirror is on the opposite side of the mirror and is sometimes referred to as the virtual focal point. In turn, as you might expect, the rays don't actually go through the focal point, but reflect as if they were originating at the focal point. And thus, you can say that the parallel rays incident on a convex spherical mirror diverge from a virtual focal point. Now, if we uh, come over here for just a moment, and we take a look quantitatively to demonstrate the focal point is on the opposite side for a convex mirror, it's denoted as being negative. Now, coming back here to figure 35a, let's get back to uh, image formation for a moment and um, examine the four special rays for a convex mirror. Just as we saw in figure 21, for ray 1, a ray parallel to the mirror. 